Other scientists use a completely different approach. They take the brain cells apart and let them grow in a small dish on top of a computer chip. The problem with this technique is that it is extremely difficult to place each cell exactly on the right connection point. A team of researchers at IMEC has recently found the trick. They printed a pattern on the chip with a product that the brain cells love to eat. While consuming the product, the cells get stuck to the right spot and their tentacles are guided by the pattern. This way, the whole network of brain cells can be entirely controlled. Some scientists have already been experimenting with such brain dishes. Their chips were less precise, but their results sometimes remarkable. Let me disconnect the light show. Dr. DeMars, for instance, tries to communicate with his brain dishes and teach them several tasks. So each of these dishes contains about 20,000 or so neurons, which are firing away as we speak. So each one's an individual network, and they'll fire spontaneously. We take living rat neurons, and they will rapidly form a neural network and we have this grid of electrodes underneath the surface of these living neurons and we can listen to the conversation among the neurons and we can also stimulate activity within that network we can send in different patterns of stimulation and look at how the network changes as a result of of those stimulations and that's how we do what we do what he does is to teach his brain dishes how to control an airplane the network can essentially fly the aircraft in a pretty optimal way. So it won't overcorrect too much and it'll be able to stabilize it in a wide variety of conditions. I think I've programmed like a 50 knot crosswind into this one. It was what it looks like. And you, you can see it, the aircraft when it hits one of these crosswinds, how it begins to oscillate. The oldest dish that I've had is at two years. And the only reason why that, that dish um, died was because um, we were moving the lab from Caltech to Georgia Tech. Otherwise, that dish would probably still be alive today. Each dish has a characteristic, so you can learn to recognize one dish from another dish. They're demanding, though. You have to feed them once a week. And 